our 21st century exodus came a whole new nation called the children of God. The descendants of the children of God multiplied so greatly that they became extremely powerful and filled the land. Eventually, a new leader came to power in Exodus called Lord Haygood, who despised the love that God had for his children. Then one day, Lord Haygood said to his followers, Look, the children of God now are numerous and are stronger than we are. We must make a plan to keep them from growing even more. If we don't, and the war breaks up, they will join our enemies and fight against us. Then they will escape from Exodus. With the help of Apollyon, the god of destruction, they appointed mental slave drivers over them who were brutal. They poisoned the minds of the children, hoping to wear them down. The worldly things that the children craved made their lives bitter, forcing them to turn away from the one true God. The more the children multiplied, the more they were oppressed, until one day a whole generation knew nothing about God. This is how it all happened.
turned away from him. Sin, what is sin? Sin is when we do something wrong against God's law. Can you guys remember what the Ten Commandments are? Yes, yeah, we learned that in Sunday school. We must love God first and love idols and we must never cause you to do We have to keep the Sabbath day holy. We be our parents and we shouldn't lie, steal or murder. And we should never be jealous of the future or commit the book of whatever that means. Yes, that's right. The children thought of all the bad choices they had made and the weight of sin became a burden, and it was far too heavy to ignore. I can't believe that all our lives are taught that God doesn't exist. What are we going to do? I can't handle it. I can't wait. I can't wait. Christian! Christian! Pull yourself together. You can't let Mother Nature see you like this. What's happened? Why are these things on our backs? Oh no, there are burdens. This book must be true. Mother Nature is coming! Guys, sit down. If she sees these burdens, she's not going to know that we found out the truth. At natural, no one tell her we found the book. Mother Nature might be working for the enemy. We can't trust her. Good morning, children. I'll bake your favourite biscuits. Is something wrong? It's too early for biscuits, Mother Nature. They're breakfast biscuits. Since when have Tom Day stopped from eating my special biscuits? Wait a second. What's happened to you all? You're acting strange. We found and read this book. It has terrible news. What? What are you talking about? One day, maybe soon, a terrible fire is going to sweep through, to a, through our city and destroy everything. Is that all, Christian? That's just a silly old book. You can't believe everything you read. You know what? I bet you're just hungry. Have a biscuit. No, it's true. We're sure of it. This author writes about treason, and we realise we're guilty of it. The guilty of betraying our king, our father God. Oh, that's just ridiculous. I've never seen or heard of a fire like that. Besides, we don't have a God. What does the author know? Come on, have a biscuit. Okay, <coughs> we'll meditate. No, go away. Um. Um, no, Mother Nature. We're not going to risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Please just read this book. Certainly not. I don't want any part of your nonsense. You must pull yourself together and meditate. Just go with no! Don't let Mother Nature feed you with her lies. Listen, I'm very concerned. We must leave this place. Leave all your family and friends? Are you crazy? If you want to be miserable and leave, go ahead. But don't expect me to join you. I am one with the universe. The children of the next generation didn't know what to do. They were desperate to know how to escape the coming destruction. They wandered the fields surrounding the city, read the, read the book they had found, and even prayed to God for help. And then, one day...
these fellas. We're going to be left behind. I don't want to be left behind in the city of destruction. Evangelist, you said that salvation comes from Zion's Hill. How do we get there? Ah, then that's where I can help you. Zion's Hill is heaven. You guys see that light over there? Follow, follow the light and then you will reach a gate. Make sure you stay on the path because this journey will be a dangerous one. When you reach the gate, knock and the gate will open. There you will meet the gatekeeper. He will show you the way. And then you will find yourself safe in the celestial city of heaven, the king's country. Are you coming with us? No, I actually have work to do in your old city of destruction. Okay then, thank you. Bye. Really? 
think you could do this thing on your own terms, we thought that there was maybe an easy way to finish this. There is only one way to be rid of your burden and save your souls, and that is by following the king's highway. But worldly wisdom told us about another way. Worldly wisdom is not greater than God's wisdom, and that man that I told you about, Mr. Obey the Law, has never watched you with anyone. <coughs> Just get our burdens off by being good and obeying the law. That might seem like a reasonable or even righteous path to go on, but the truth is the way we're walking only leads to death. We thought that if we worked our way for the king, king that's main. You can work really hard and I to have the best record ever, but the truth is you're not perfect, so you're bound to mess up somewhere, and you can't just cover up those bad things up with good things because the problem will still be there. We can never be good enough. So what's the point? If even our best efforts lead us away, then it's hopeless about you. Not hopeless, dear friend. God understands. That's why he came on the bus. He became one whose record is blameless. He is the only one we can fall back on if we looked him. If we try, we are all guilty of. He took the blame for that. Can you show us the way again? It's the way of the cross. Go now, and please, this time. We know. Stay on it. Goodbye, and God bless.
minds full of hope. Before long, their path ran between two thick walls and written in bold letters with a single word, salvation. The children were filled with excitement because they felt they were close to the place of which evangelists and good ones spoken of, the only place that could remove the burden of sin. And then, there it was, but it wasn't an imposing courtroom with a stern judge. It was a simple and most importantly empty cross.
talk about that is certain death. I'd rather continue with my journey. Shoot yourself. Frankly, I think you must be crazy. Who's crazy? You're crazy. There's no doubt about it. Thank you. 
the new army uniform. But the way, although smooth at first, quickly descended to a valley which the sun seemed to be shut out of, and strange noises began to fill the air. <laughs> Come on, Christian. Go try. 
try and find a way out of here before they get actually Do you know what, faithful, they're right. What can I do? I don't even have faith in myself anymore. One day God is going to judge me, and I cannot bear to think how I let him down again. No, no, you cannot turn away from him now. Who else has the words of mine? Maybe if you read, listen to this. The scripture says that God so loved us that whilst we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Do you hear that, Christiana? The pilgrims leaned against their prison walls and went over and over in their minds how they disobeyed their king. More than the cold or the hunger, it was their guilt that began to eat inside. And then slowly, for many hours that turned into days, they began to despair of ever leaving. Children of God quickly escaped and found their way back onto the king's highway. 
They had forgotten for just a while the king's promise to never leave nor forsake them. But once I remembered, it was a key to their escape. I will be back! <laughs> 
know it's hard on this journey, but I wish that anyone would just let us go already. I know a town called Vanity that lies ahead, and her people hate Christ. They'll be out for your blood. Well, surely it's good they're full with you. We can help each other. Actually, I must head in another direction. But remember, the blood life is safe and hidden in God's hands. Thank you, Evangelist. Goodbye, then.
children didn't put up a fight, but instead allowed them to be taken through the streets by those angry women. When they, re when they met the judge, they did not hesitate to speak boldly. Okay. 
best of nearly blowing your vision from the light. You can only see light through spiritual eyes, so put that in the pot and smoke it. Guys, that's not how children of light should speak to ignorant people. Mr. Atheist, our lady God, you cannot see the wind, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I believe the wind is this because of the effect it has. Fool is not a kid. If your points were real, he would show himself to me right now. Then I believe. Even if the prince of heaven and earth was to suddenly come down right now, you still wouldn't believe. Instead, you would scorn for being at your beck and call. Besides, God already came down to earth as Jesus to lead us by his temple, and people still didn't believe him. I am my own king! I can see that, sir, but you still won't be able to save yourself. I don't need any saving. I can overcome anything by my own strength and intellect. Even strength and intellect cannot beat death, and it will surely come to you as it does to all men. All I know is that people from the sea of destruction are dying, and our souls are going to end at the end of somewhere. And the problem is, not everybody knows where they're going. But after reading this book, heaven is the only place we want to go. Is that it? I think it is. It's the king's country. Wow, it's beautiful. Come on, it's not that far. Let's go. Where are you going, you foolish kids? Who walks into the night? <laughs>
not wired and sick. The children do not roam in heaven because they've been the perfect pilgrim. Although only they were made perfect. They arrived because once they've been to the chair of the cross, nothing could keep them away from God's love. It was not an easy journey, but it was worth it. That was a great story. I'm glad they made it home. Do you have any more stories about pilgrims traveling on the King's Highway? There are so many people taking the same journey. I don't possibly have time to tell you all of their stories, but who knows? One day I might be telling yours, but it's late, children. You need to go to bed. The children of the last day was in every nation, and then when they make it to heaven, they bring down the word for the next generation.